Hello and welcome to another BPM bullets per minute boss guide. Today we're going to be talking about Vape, arguably the easiest boss in the game. My name is Schwingy, let's get started. Vate is the third boss of the game, found in Vanaheim 1. He's one of the easier bosses and frankly could probably use a buff in the future. Despite me saying he's pretty easy, he actually has 8 different moves which is plenty more than the earlier bosses in the game. Basic Axe Throw Vate reaches behind him and quickly throws a spinning axe at you in the same way that a common enemy in Vanaheim does. Either dodge or strafe to any side to avoid getting hit. Keep in mind that if you happen to be flying while he does this, the axe will be thrown at you in the air. Axe Nova Vate performs a basic axe throw and then follows it up with an axe nova shooting 8 axes around him. It's easy to get hit by this if you're standing very close to him, so maintain a medium range and dodge or strafe to avoid getting hit. You can also jump over the axes. Note that these axes don't get thrown up in the air if you're flying, only the first one. Axe Cone Vate lifts both of his KFC drumsticks up in the air and prepares a large barrage of attacks thrown in a cone in front of him. The move is incredibly telegraphed and should be very easy to avoid by getting behind him while he prepares it. Skull Spawn Vate quickly lifts up his right arm and spawns a bull skull that chases you. Simply shoot the skull to blow it up before it reaches you. Charge Attack Vate suddenly bursts into flames and charges in your direction. Dodge to the side to not get hit. The only reason you might get hit by this is if you cornered yourself and he uses it. Just don't do that and it'll all be okay. Trust me. Expanding Orb Vate raises both of his hands up and claps after a short windup, causing an expanding orb to travel forward. Run behind him when he raises his hands and this move won't do anything to you. Expanding Ring Vate hops up in the air and drops down. This cataclysmic event causes a ring to ripple out from under his feet, expanding every beat. It's exactly the same move that Fafnir uses and one of the mini bosses that appears in Asgard. So just jump over the ring as it grows to avoid it. Safe Space This is Vate's iconic move. Vate creates a safe space for you to enter and do as much free damage on him as you can. This safe space charges up and if you're out of the circle when it's released, you'll be damaged. He always does this twice in a row, so make sure not to move out of the safe zone after the first one goes off. This attack really does let you wail on him without any chance of taking damage in return. The safe zone does extend vertically, so you can be flying up above and be fine as long as you're in the circle. If not, this'll happen. While this move leaves a huge opening for you to hit him, it's also his most dangerous move and the one you should be most on the lookout for. Keeping a medium distance is crucial because if you're too far away from him when he does it, you won't have enough time to reach the safe space. Here are some general tips to fighting Vate. It's very safe to keep strafing around him and shooting when fighting him. Just be on the lookout for his safe space attack as well as his axe nova since you'll want to carefully avoid strafing into one of the axes. Stay out of the corners in the room and stay at a medium-ish range in case he uses safe space. Most of the time, this fight will be over before you know it and Bait will have barely been able to fight back. Boss modifiers to be on the lookout for. Giant Vate causes him to be jumbo and have more health. The main difference here is that his axe projectiles are rather large and can't be jumped over without some significant jump height boost from items. Be extra careful when he does the axe nova. The axes seem to be wider than they look as well, though I could be wrong about that. Crazed Vate can be scary because he uses his many moves much more frequently without long breaks in between them. And that's it! With all this info, Vate shouldn't give you any trouble when you face off against him in your upcoming runs. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please go ahead and hit that like button, it lets me know that you enjoyed it. I've got links to my other guides in the description below, go ahead and check them out, subscribe for more, and as always, have a good one.